Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at looking at how to make a factorial program in Java. Now for those of you who don't know, what a factorial is, is just all the num from a certain number, all the numbers being multiplied down to one. So for instance, if I write five exclamation mark, that's equal to five times four times three times two times 1, which would be equal to 120. So that's what 5 factorial is. Similarly, um, 4 factorial would just be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which would be equal to 24. So I think you get the idea. Just multiply all the numbers back down to 1, and that'll give you the answer. So to output that in Java, so just one of those examples, we'll just print it to the system. Let's print 5 factorial equals Five times four times three times two times one. Okay, and then that'll print it out. So let's run that, and this should give us 120 when we look at what it outputs on the console. Yep, five factorial equals 120, and then let's try for more. 6 factorial, we'll have to multiply that by 6. Seven hundred and twenty. Okay, and 8 factorial, let's try that. Whoops, got it times it by 8. And by 7. There we go. And so what you can see is um, we're printing it out, but we're only doing one, one at a time. So the idea of the factorial function is we want a function that we can put any number in, and it'll tell us what the factorial of it is. So obviously if I wanted to do 20 factorial, I'm not going to write you know 20 times 19 times 18 all the way down to 1. That'll be way too tedious. Much more powerful is to create a function that we can just input the number in and it will output the answer for us. So let's do that now. I'm going to create a function in Java. Let's call this function factorial, lowercase. It'll accept a number, so this is the number we'll pass in to find the factorial of. And we'll have to return something as well. So how are we going to do this? Well, 8 factorial is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So let's say here we pass in 8. Well, we'll have to go up to 8. So we'll need some sort of loop. Equals, you could say, 2. And we'll have to go up to 8, right? Because... Well, we're going to do 2 times 3. If the number we get in is 8, we'll have to do 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 times 8. So how do we do that? Well, we could initialize a variable called value. So that equal to 1. And so within the loop, we could just do value equals value times i. We start at 1, so value will be 1 times 2, that will give us 2. Then it will be 2 times 3, because we're going to go to 3, then we'll go to 4. So 3 times 4. Yeah, so it would be 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 times 8. Makes sense? But of course this number is not necessarily going to be 8. That's just assuming this number is 8. So we'll change this to number. And so this will give us number factorial. OK, let's give that a go. Let's try printing that out. So let's try calling this function. 
So let's create an object for our class. Let's create a new object for our factorial class. Let's just call it John equals new factorial. So now let's print this out. Let's print it out um, with the function something being inputted to it. Let's call our little factorial function there. So what do you want to do? Let's just initialize a variable. I think this will be a good, better way to format it. Let's, let's say 10. Let's try and find 10 factorial. So we could say and then we could put in we'll call, let's call the function now. So John's our object, so John dot factorial. And then we're gonna put a number in there. Obviously number because that's going to be 10. Make sense? Okay, let's give that a go. So what's going to happen? We've got an, an object of our factorial class. We're going to find 10 factorial, 10 factorial. And so this is what's this, what's this going to print out? This is going to print out 10 factorial equals whatever the value we get for our 10 factorial is. So what's going to happen once 10 gets passed into this function? 10 is going to get passed into here, and then what? Well, we're going to start with a 1, and then in, within this loop it'll be 1 times 2, then times 3, then times 4, then times 5, then times 6, then times 7, then times 8, then times 9, then times 10. Okay, let's give that a go. should give us 10 factorial. There we go. Awesome. Let's format that a little differently. Mm -hmm. this, this should look a bit nicer. And there we go. 10 factorial is 3,628,800. And that is what 10 factorial is. Let's try a different number. Let's try 20 factorial. Oh dear, looks like we've had a overflow. The value was too big. That's okay. Let's try... We'll worry about that later. Let's try 15 factorial. Hmm, that's an interesting number. How many digits is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're at 2 billion, 2 billion, 4 million, 310,016. Interesting. So this is working, it's calculating factorials. And it's a very, very, very rudimentary Java program. Nothing that advanced happening here. It's just We've got a function, takes in a value, multiplies all numbers up to that value in a loop, and then return that value. And then we'll just print that value out, whichever value we're passing in. Very simple. Thank you for watching.